Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can dual boot between Windows 8.1 and Windows 10. For demonstration purposes, I'm using Hyper-V Manager. Already I have Windows 8.1 installed, as we can see here. And we need to keep in mind first, we need to back up our data. Then we have to make sure we have a secondary hard drive or a secondary partition because we cannot install both operating systems on the same partition. And uh, in my case, I can, since I'm using a virtual machine, I can go ahead add another VHD or I can just simply, if you have um, enough space, shrink the volume of the existing partition uh, I'm using. So let's go ahead, open disk management. There are several ways we can open disk management by clicking start, right click computer and manage. And then disk management. or we can simply type disk mgmt.msc it will open disk management window or we can just simply right click on start menu and then disk management all right let's go ahead and maximize window and so as we can see we have only one hard drive again this is a virtual so i should say one vhd and I'm, I'm gonna go ahead shrink the volume size of the C drive so by right clicking on the C drive shrink volume alright after calculating the amount of disk space it will ask us question regarding enter the amount of space to shrink so 120,000 in megabyte it gives us 120 gig so approximately let's say half of that 60,191 shrink it's almost half of the C drive so we can use the other half for Windows 10 okay so right now we need to attach Windows 10 ISO image or if we have Windows 10 in installation disk simply we can insert and restart the computer and boot up from the installation disk we have to keep in mind we need to change the boot sequence in the BIOS depending on the system some systems you need to press let's say F2 or F1 or delete key to go to the, your BIOS settings the basic input output system configuration settings and then we have to go to the startup tab and change the boot sequence making sure the device boot device um, the first boot device is DVD or CD and then hard drive and so on if you are using the ISO image on a USB you want to make sure the first boot device is removal devices or USB key so it can boot from the USB first to do the installation alright in my case I'm gonna just go ahead and uh, attach Windows 10 by clicking file settings on a DVD let's go ahead attach Windows 10 ISO image open apply ok alright we can go ahead and close disk management window and restart computer virtual machine computer restart and when it asks to boot from DVD yes you want to press any key to boot from an installation disk and it will start Windows 10 in installation. So we're clicking next and install. And user license agreement, accept, next. So this is a custom installation. And here we want to make sure we select the unallocated space. This is where we did shrink the C drive, created empty space for the second operating system to be installed. So we want to make sure we select unallocated space. If we select on let's say the other partitions, we will lose the data. So we want to make sure unallocated space selected and then click next. Right now it is going through the process of Windows 7 operating system in installation on a second partition we, when we create it. I will fast forward this process. Alright, as we can see during the installation system will restart a couple of times. Please do not press any key. Let the installation go through. It will ask us if we want to press any key to boot from the installation disk. No, we just let the installation go through.
Alright, so as we can see, it did restart a couple of times and we just need to finish Windows 10 in installation. So let's go ahead and select Windows 10. Use Express settings. Alright, for username and for password we can just leave it blank right now next all right as we can see windows 10 dual boot installation has been completed successfully so let's go ahead restart to see the dual boot Alright, as we can see, this is the dual boot menu option. We have 30 seconds, automatically it will boot up to Windows 10. So let's go ahead and boot up Windows 8.1 right now. Alright, this is Windows 8. And let's go ahead and restart. dual boot menu option let's go ahead choose windows 10 well as we can see this is windows 10 this was an example of dual boot between windows 8.1 and windows 10 thank you so much for watching have a good day